on today's video. Today's video is very exciting for me because it is my long awaited pins from Florida. Um, if you've seen any of my last uh, videos at all, my parents were stuck in Florida for just under three months and the only good thing that sort of came out of it was that they were able to obviously get stuff from America and I had a US postal address to get pins like traded and sent to so some of these I did purchase some of them I traded for super happy to really get in and have a look at all the I had like a quick look earlier but really looking detailed at these um my dad purchased this little case off of ebay which is really nice um so they're all like nice and safe coming home and yeah I'm gonna record this slightly differently today I'm gonna record it over on um my table and then um yeah we're just just gonna try a new setup today and then I can really like look at the pins as well like see them with you for the first time um and because they are in the book for the moment I think I just want to like try and keep them in there as best as I can um but we'll see I might take them out but yeah let's have a look what's in here okay, so we have the little pin bag here there is both fantasy and authentic pins so let's open it up oh so here's a little sneaky peek i'm like where do we start so i've just laid other pins out and are you ready to see it i think i need to count these um yeah these are all of the pins that were either traded or purchased there is some truly fantastic pins in here i'm gonna count them up and see how many we have here so uh pause the video leave a comment down below guess how many there are um and uh yeah so i will order them and then we will come back and look at them close in detail but let's first see how many there are okay i lost count very quickly but there is approximately 55 pins here so that is crazy cannot believe it but yes, I can because it's been over like three months worth of pins. So yes, excited to open some of these up, look at them more closely and let's show you what we've got. I think I'm going to start with fantasy pins, which I've got up here. So these four are all by a artist called Alicia's Wonderland. That is her shop. And she does beautiful designs with the Disneyland D logo so this is obviously Alice in Wonderland I'm not a big Alice in Wonderland collector um I like specific things as you will see um but I do like the flowers from the garden scene so I had to pick that one up and then I got the uh Mickey Minnie sort of watching the fireworks had to get that one because I especially love Happily Ever After Magic Kingdom. And then I got this one which is like a Christmassy, it's really just a winter one, I wouldn't even say it's Christmas. It's probably going to go on my Hanukkah board if I'm honest because of it's blue and white and sparkly and it's wintry themed. On the back she's got her stamp as well. I love it when fantasy pin makers put their stamps on the back because then if you trade with them from someone else you still know where to find their work and then I also got this one which is Miko and very cute you've also got Flit as well uh, with all the leaves and the flowers so I got those and I did buy those ones then we have this one I can't remember who this is from if I can find any links I will leave them down below um, this again is a fantasy pin of Miko and Flit and this one flit just sort of flits around pardon the pun um but yeah i think it's really pretty with the glitter and um, was one i wanted for a long time this i'm not quite sure where it came from i think someone must have added it within either um an authentic pin i got or a fantasy pin it just says pity party and it's got a little hat it's cute um a sweet little extra so uh, that can just go on like my general board then i have this one i already have the marie version of this this is by mirakai fantasy pins i don't think they make fantasy pins anymore but you can still find these circling around instagram and facebook um i'm not sure if they still have their etsy shop or not but this is the 
want to say it's Berlioz, but it could be Toulouse. I'm really bad with the kitten's names. Um, so I have this one and I have um, Marie. I just need to find myself the other cat. There is um, a Duchess and O'Malley one as well, which maybe I will get as well one day. But for now, I'm just sort of focusing on the kittens. Very sweet. This is a super exciting one. This is a yo-yo uh, fantasy pin, a yo-yo pop, I believe is what they're called. This is a limited edition of 35. There is two versions of this. This is the one of Forky, sort of with the scrambled face. And then there is another one which I do have uh, coming, which I managed to buy directly from them, which is the smiling version. But this one I traded for, and it's just a massive pin. It's pin on pin element and Forky is like my new favourite collection and I've got quite a few Forky pins um, coming my way actually so yeah there's that one. So the last fancy pin I have to show you is this pet profile. This I again I'm not quite sure who it was made by. I'll try and leave an annotation but I just don't know off the top of my head. And this is of Bolt. I very recently started collecting Bolt pins because I think he looks a bit like our dog Oscar who is a Westie. I know Bolt technically isn't a Westie, he's more of like a shepherd dog, um, but I mean the ears are on point, the snout's on point, he has a red collar, and um, so yeah, Bolt is like my small little side collection that I've started. Okay, and then shall we move on to authentic pins? So we'll start with Pocahontas. The first one is, these are like the two extremes. This is a very tiny one, I don't know. Let's try and get the lighting right. So it's a very, very tiny Pocahontas pin. Um, it's one of the ones that has the clasp on the back that is um, still authentic. Um, this is just how they used to be made. And it's got sort of like a softer enamel on it. Very sweet, very, very tiny pin. I didn't realise how small. And then in comparison, I have a massive Pocahontas El Capitan Theatre marquee pin. These are really sought after pins when it comes to um, certain movies. Obviously some movies are more popular than others. Um, but yes, this is from the studio store in Hollywood and I'll take off the backing card to show you the back of it. So it says limited edition of 400 on the back and you can see it's got all the ice cream print on it. We then have three Little Mermaid pins. This first one I believe is from, I want to say Hong Kong, Shanghai. Um, it's a limited edition of 500. I think it came in like a box set of lots of different princesses um, with a frame. And this is obviously Ariel and Eric for the Kiss the Girl scene. Really like this pin, definitely a keeper for me. Um, you can see it's got flounder as well and like a starfish and some clams. Um, is that Sebastian? Yeah. So very... Um, lovely pin and like I said they have uh, multiple different uh, princesses. This one is up for trade. This is a movie anniversary collection pin. I believe it was for cast members only um, from 2019. Yeah, Disney theme parks are cast exclusive. Um, I'm not quite sure on the LE of it. So this one is limited edition of 1000. This is up for trade. I just don't collect Ariel so much in her mermaid form ironically. Um, I sort of like her in her dresses and outfits, so um, that one I will be putting for trade. And then I have this one, which is a hunk of a pin. This is like a Christmas pin, um, but it is from the Disney Employee Center, so any employees could get it. Um, it is more of an expensive pin for like normal retails, $28.95 usually, um, but it is, like I said, a heavy pin. It even has a loop, so you could actually hang that from a tree if you want. That would be super cute if you had, like, lots of the princesses. But I really loved her outfit and how she looked in this pin. Um, let's see. Should we see what the Ellie of this is? So this is what it looks like on the back. It says Ellie 250. And it's just gorgeous. It's almost like a medal, the size of it and the, the weight of it. So, yeah. So next up we have the Muppets. The first pin is a uh, hidden Mickey pin. Um, I do believe this is authentic. Um, these have been scrapped so many times, but this one, you know, it feels a good way. It's smooth, the color's all right. There's always like a big problem with Beaker's nose. And I think this is correct, even though he's got a yellow nose. I'm gonna have to double check. Either way, I'm still gonna keep it because it, it looks 
um, one of the better ones at least, even if it is a scrapper. Um, but yeah, these have been really highly faked, but as you can see the paint works nice and smooth, the edges are nice and smooth, and it's, it's like I said, it's got a good weight to it. So um, I'm led to believe it's authentic, even if he does have a yellow nose. Um, but if I look on Pimpix and it turns out he's not real, then I'm okay with that. Uh, but that is that one. We then have two Pin Trading Delight Pins. These are what you get from uh, the studio store in Hollywood. Um, whenever you buy an ice cream sundae, you can get a f essentially a free pin with it. But again, these are very highly collectible. This is obviously Fozzie Bear with an ice cream on his head. Limited edition of 300 is that one. So that is Fozzie Bear. And then, of course, I had to get Beaker to match my Bunsen honeydew one so this is a very cute beaker like you said as you can see on these and like the other pin i'm going to show you it's got an orange nose so curious to have a look at that pin actually um and again this is a limited edition of 300 we then have this beaker and bunsen pin which is on a really cool backing card as well. It's like a class schedule. This is possibly, I want to say, from like, it's the Pin Trading University. I'm wondering if that was one year an event at Epcot, you know, like they do every year at the end of August. Um, I can't, I'm not too sure, but um, there's a few Pin Trading University pins circling around. And so this, obviously, they're in charge of science class. So you've got this on one side, and then this bit spins. It's not at the moment just because the, the stoppers are on the back, but... If I turn it over, you can see the experiment's not gone to the best of plan. So on the back, it says limited edition 750. Um, and then it's also got that Pin Trading University logo as well. So that is that one. And then the final Muppet one I have to show you. So the final Muppet pin I have to show you is this one. This is a piece of Disney history. I love these Disney history pins because you do get something real from the attraction or ride or movie um, this is again limited edition um, let's take that off so we can see it so it says Muppet Vision 3D at Disney's Hollywood Studios opened May 16th 1991 the attraction features the Muppets in humorous 3D film with in theatre sensory special effects this pin contains a piece of the hot air balloon which was part of the exterior theming. So if you remember quite a while ago they had a hot air balloon above the um, attraction outside. It's no longer there um, and obviously this is a tiny little bit of the balloon fabric I guess. We then have three Mary Poppins pins. The first one is a hidden Mickey pin. Again this is definitely authentic. Um, this one in particular I did get from a live sale on Facebook with um, reputable sellers. Um, there's a few live sales that go on and um, there's some, some well-known sort of uh, Facebook sellers on there. And this is the Mary Poppins on... Um, oh, what's it called? <laughs> like a wind catcher, a weather dial. Um, and these are sort of in more of like a pewter colour. Um, there is a chaser of this as well, I believe, but um, I've just got this one for now. Then we have another in those um, cast exclusive. This is um, the movie anniversary collection for Mary Poppins, 55th anniversary. And I particularly love this scene when they are on top of the houses and um, chim chimney, chim chimney, chiroo and step in time and... Uh, I just love it and you've got a little hat element which is pin on pin there as well so very beautiful pin that one and then the final one is this Mary Poppins pin this is again from the DEC it's limited edition of 250 and um, it does open up so I'll show you that so this is the front of the pin um, it looks like the cast members badge and when you open it up there is Mary in her Jolly Holidays outfit. It's got a really gorgeous background to it, which you can see is catching in the light. What I didn't notice, um, I think I got it in the live sale, but there is a little black dot on her hat. And that sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, it's not a forever keeper for me, this one, so I may trade it or sell it. Um, but I still think it will look nice on my collection, just looking like this, and just obviously showing the front. Um, I think that'd be quite nice, maybe the centre of a pin board. 
So next I'm going to show you the Pooh and Piglet pins I got. I'm not like a big Winnie the Pooh collector but every now and again something, you know, just grabs my attention. And these are actually really tiny pins and I think I like them even more because of that. So this is a limited edition one of Piglet. I need something to like show you. So this is the, uh, well... Yeah, that's a hidden Mickey too. So you can see sort of the size of these. That's how tiny they are. So this is a limited edition of Piglet. Oh, and it's so cute. Um, let's see what edition it was. It says Disneyland Resort, California. Uh, and it was $6 apparently. Wow. I think that says it's limited edition of 2400 I think. It is so very tiny though. Um, so yeah, very cute one to like add to a little Easter board and then we have, I don't know if it's a matching one, I don't think it is but it's a tiny little poo and he's wearing some bunny ears and holding a little basket so obviously I've got these round Easter time and then we have this is uh, one of the newer hidden Mickeys of um, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet and it says friends are family we choose and again this is an authentic one Paint works nice and smooth. The back, the Mickeys go straight off the edge. And yeah, so those are my Poo and Piglet ones. So next I'm going to show you, these are park pins. Um, four of these my parents picked up and the other one they tried and could not get. So let's start with that one. This is the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Pass Holder Pin. Um, obviously they were there for like just after the opening of it they didn't ride it I think it was just way too busy and they obviously didn't have a fast pass for it and these pins were all sold out this is um the limited edition pass holder one and I was able to trade for it and I just think it's super adorable and even on the top there you can see a tiny little birdie and I just love this old um you know great movie ride sort of aesthetic that it's kept so got that one and then these are the ones my parents picked up three of these are already traded the only one that's not traded i believe is the thumper one but i need to double check on that um so yeah this was for saint patrick's day which you know never happened really in the parks and you can see it's got like a, a four leaf clover bubble very cute but i probably won't keep it because uh thumper is not one of my collections like Bambi's not really one of my top films and then like I said these have been traded so we've got this is part of like a quarterly set this is the Rapunzel Spring 2020 pin that's come out and again limited edition usually these are about limited edition of about 2000 and then we have two from the Cinderella 70th this one which um was still there from when we went um in February or January not quite sure when it came out but this is all the mice in the sewing kit and then this is the pass holder exclusive and um, it opens up and you've got uh, Cinderella in her rags I can't quite do that one-handed right now but those two have been traded so I have these two pins which I did get in a live sale um, it was like a mystery box so these definitely up for trade. I think this one has been traded already. I've got it written down. Um, so this one is um, the only one up for trade. But these are Coco pins. So you've got a pin trading night pin from Disneyland Paris. Which I do like the style of pin trading night pins. I think they're really good. And then this again is from the Disney Studio Store in Hollywood. And this is the Father's Day pin. So that is those. Like I said, one already traded, one up for trade. Then let's move on to Alice in Wonderland because we have a couple of those. We have two that I purchased and one I think came in a trade. So this is one that was in trade and it is up for trade and it's Alice in a Bottle. I believe this is from a, a Shop Disney uh, collection I want to say um, that's been released this year. So it's a fairly new pin um, but I don't really collect Alice pins as such. That being said, I will be keeping this one. This was from, I think, Shanghai, maybe. Um, I got it from uh, Jennifer's Pins. She does do Facebook sales. She is one of the uh, reputable ones. And this was like part of a game 
pin trading carnival and this was I guess either one of the gifts or prizes that you could win and it's Ellie 1000 but I got it because I love the baby oyster and baby oyster all being said I got this one as well I'm not as keen on this one I think this might be up for trade I just not as keen on the design as I am the you know straight from film design I have created a baby oyster fantasy pin so if you want to see what that looks like um, the link will be down below to my Instagram page um, which um, I have got I've got two pin ones so I've got Sophie's pins um, and that's pins with a Z that is my pin profile and then I have magic and stardust co which is my new fantasy pin Instagram so um, if you like Alice in Wonderland or baby oysters head over there and see if you'd like to get one of my pins so then we have two aristocats pins i told you this is literally a bit of every one of my collections um so we've got this one which is the aristocats poster this is from one of the i think like the countdown series or something these are pretty collectible um some of them are harder to find than others um but it is a poster from the movie i love poster pins as you are going to see soon um from some others i got but Yes, really like to add this onto my collection. And then this one, I think I bought it, I think, in a live sale maybe, or did I trade for it? Not quite sure, but this is part of the Hot Chocolate series, which again is a really collectible collection at the moment. Um, I would like to get some more of these pins, but these were super hard to find even in the parks. They sold out like pretty instantly um, around Christmas time. And we certainly didn't see them when we were there in November. So that is obviously Marie and that is very cute with the little marshmallows on it. The next one is sort of a random one but it's for my like Disney Channel collection. This is a uh, High School Musical 2 uh, poster and this is obviously from the premiere from 2007. With a lot of these pins I find the pictures they fade um, or they just turn a bit yellowy. That is sort of just like the nature of that pin really. Um, anything that's got this sort of picture enamel on it tends to to yellow over time. Uh, this is limited edition of 2000. So I've got that one. And then some other random pins. Let's see. We have this It's a Small World one. And um, this again was a mystery set. I can't remember if it was this year or last year. I think it says oh yes it was 2019 um and it's a small world collection again another really tradable series this is um penguins and you know like the arctic the antarctic scene from the attraction i really like the colors on this one so i'll probably keep that and we have one lonesome stitch i don't collect stitch that much but elvis's stitch i do collect and um i really liked this like guitar pick one uh let's see limited edition of 3000 i think this is part of like a set i think it came on a postcard but i only got like the guitar pick pin um so yeah always on the lookout for stitch dressed as elvis another one that i got from a live sale which is up for trade is this anger pin i don't collect um anger or um What's the film called? I know it's vice versa in French, but cannot for the life of me think of it. it's such a name. This came out in 2015. It's a limited edition of 300. Um, and it's from the Disney store, apparently. So that is up for trade. We then have this very random pin, but I'm really like the book nerd and me loves this. If you've not read any of the Kingdom Keepers novels, you totally should. Um, they are books they're like middle grade books um set around the disney parks and the cruise lines and um they involve these group of kids who work as like hosts for the park and they have to come in contact with all like the bad guys and trying to defeat them and they go into this like online world if you like disney you want to read something disney then um it, it's something to read uh there's, this is the, the second series, the Return series, um, but the just the Kingdom Keepers series is the first a lot. 
And we have two Carousel of Progress pins. This is a Magical Milestones pin. This uh, obviously shows Carousel of Progress and Interventions. I need to do a little bit more research on this, but this is obviously from Disneyland in California. And I did obviously mainly get it for the Carousel of Progress side. Um, I believe that is the first scene that they go into, um, like turning of the century. Uh, let's see if I can see what Elliot is. It's a limited edition of 1000, so it would be interesting to do something on Pimpix. I think this is obviously part of the Disneyland uh, 50th anniversary, and obviously showing different attractions that have come and gone there. And then this one I'm very excited for. This is the Carousel of Progress Park Packs pin. Uh, this is the fourth out of the fourth one. So Park Packs were um, something they did couple years back now this is limited edition of 500 and um they would have it started off being there was two just like off the rack pins and then you'd get a limited edition one that was exclusive to the pack and this was obviously that one and there was um three different um four different versions and obviously this is um the last one the progress of tomorrow so I definitely want to get my hands on the other three, but they are really hard to find. Um, but this is definitely a grail pin for me that I will keep forever. Park pins and um, Mickey Mini. So this one is a Epcot pin. This is 20 years of discovery. I just really like this. Um, I liked that it had all the countries on it. You've got the ball. This is obviously um, turn of the century when they had the... Um, the white glove there and the little monorail moves which I didn't realise until now. Uh, let's see what the LE size of this is. 3000 and it's always really interesting when they're on their actual backing cars to see the prices of them because obviously they don't put prices on the back now but like to see how cheap they were this would probably be like 15 17 dollars now so I got that one. We then have some more sort of like vintage Disneyland ones. I love anything like 1950s, this retro Disneyland feel. And again, it says the happiest place on earth with Tinkerbell on it. Um, this came out in 2003. And then I have this one, which is Ellie. It says it's 755, which is an odd number. Um, but it's Minnie as the uh, one of the Can Can Girls. Her foot is actually pin on pin and it's showing the golden horseshoe. And then at the bottom here, it's got 55 years and it also changes to 1955. So that is a pretty cool pin. I'd like to know a little bit more about this and the link to the golden horseshoe, um, but I love that 1950s feel. So that was definite for my collection. Speaking of sort of old attractions and things like that, this is the 45th anniversary um, 45th anniversary opened June 1957 of the House of the Future, which they had at Disneyland. Pretty sure they don't have this anymore, but if you've seen this, whether it be in person or in videos, it just summarises how the, the future was looked upon in the 1950s. It does have like a pin-on-pin -pin element. Um, is it Ellie? Came out in 2002, Ellie 1500. And I love the colours and I love like the futuristic aspect of it. Then I have this one which is probably one of my favourites is Flight of the, to the Moon. And this is the 35th anniversary of this attraction. Which I don't know if they've still got at uh, Disneyland actually. Um, I've only been to Disneyland once before. Um, and it would have been around 2002-2003 when they had the anniversary for the 50 years. Um, but yeah. I love space pins, so this was a must for my collection. Now moving on to sort of Mickey, the Fab Five. We have this one, which is from the Flower and Garden Festival. Um, this is a... what am I trying to say? <clears throat> so this is from the Flower and Garden Festival, and it is um, part of the mystery pack. This is obviously Mickey. Um, this was the Potted Plant series. Again, very sought after because they were only released in parks for a short amount of time because obviously the parks ended up closing. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. It says limited release. Again, this one is probably up for trade. As much as I love flowers and Mickey Mouse, um, I don't think the colours of it really work with my collection. So 
I think that one's up for trade. As is this one. This is a artist choice pin, um, which again I got in a live sale. And this is of Goofy and his feet actually spin like he's pedalling the bike. I'm not quite sure what this is referenced to. He almost looks a little bit like the Grim Reaper. Um, I'm not sure, but it is limited edition of 2000 and it's by um, Ralph Kent, I believe. So I think some artists must have picked like some of their favourite pins or taken some artwork and made pins. Not quite sure, but yeah, that one's definitely up for trade. Next one, possibly up for trade. This is a Disney uh, Tokyo Disney Sea pin. And this is for Easter. I have a couple like Mickey and Minnie um, in like spring Easter outfits. Mickey is actually pin on pin. And I really like the, the aesthetic of it. I'm not as keen on it having the date on it and so for that reason I might trade that um, but I thought it was cute and like I said I got this probably at Easter time. Next pin is one that I was really pleased to find this is a St Thomas Disney Cruise Line pin um, so obviously we went on our last cruise and we stopped at St Thomas and I just really wanted this pin to commemorate that um, we also stopped at the British Virgin Islands as well in Tortola um, but if this is like at the, supposed to be at the top viewpoint where we went to, um, then that's very cool. I think it's I think it's just like an off the rack pin. And then the next one is again another keeper for me. This is a welcome to Las Vegas one. If you've been around my channel for long, you know that me and Darren got married in Las Vegas, in particular at Caesar's Palace. So them dressed up as if they are from Caesar's Palace is just perfect. And we had. Our photo is taken in front of the Vegas sign. On the back, it, it's pretty plain. Um, it doesn't even have a date, so it's, it's definitely one of the older pins. Um, some of the, the white enamel has also yellowed, but um, this is definitely a pin that I will treasure and keep. And then the last Mickey one I have to show you is this one, which is a Steamboat Willie pin. This is a piece of Disney uh, movies. It didn't come with the back of card, but I got this for a really good price because I don't know if you can see that sort of like bubble at the top here. Only when you put something dark behind it do you see that. Um, when you put it up to the light like that, it has no effect on the pin. Um, so very pleased about that. Um, there is a, a, there is a Steamboat Willie pin that I have got my eye on. It just has a different scene in it as well, which I'd ultimately love to get. Um, it's just of um, Steamboat Willie. Um, but for now, this was... And it, the price of it was just too good to pass up because that default doesn't really bother me that much. So, yeah. And now, on to the last ones. Literally, my voice is just in shambles. I had to take a break and get some water. These pins are some of my favourites that I'm going to put in... A little pin board. This is part of like a poster series by WDI. Um, I believe these ones on cards I got all from the same person on eBay. Um, we like messaged and was able to do a deal. And then this one I think I must have got from another trade or a live sale. This is Ellie 500. Um, and on the back they say uh, Fireworks Spectacular Disneyland Limited Edition of 500. So these were WDI, Walt Disney Imagineering exclusives, um, and these are all of the posters. I'm not sure if they're all of the same. I'm assuming they're all of California, I want to say, um, just by the looks of the castle. But yeah, once I saw one of these, I was like damn I need that whole set and then someone was doing um selling them on ebay and I like messaged and said would you do a deal on them and they were more than happy to so very pleased this one is probably my favorite because it's got like little love hearts I do have one more coming um I don't think it's directly part of this set but it, it goes along the same theme so I'm sort of doing like a castles and posters shadow box so to speak um and i think these are all exclusive i'm gonna just take them off because i think they might have different years on the back of them that they represent i've just turned them over to have a look at them they all are le 500 and this is the full five set this one even though it has some of the same imagery it must be sort of um part of a 
an extra release that they did but a very aesthetically pleasing collection for me and um, I can just see that being a really nice shadow box like that so yeah so it is the next day and I totally forgot to show you these five pins that my parents picked up um, just because they weren't in the pin book so I totally forgot so we have three from Walmart and two from the Flower and Garden Festival so let's start with the Walmart pins so you can get these at Walmart they do have the Mickey head back I believe these are still tradable in the parks um, they are licensed still by Disney so you can find these at Walmart and Target and they're usually a lot cheaper and they are made in conjunction with um, Jerry Lee I believe um, I am pretty sure you can still trade these in the parks um, so this is one of the ones that they picked out for me and this is a great way if you want to get some traders um, for your kids this is love in 2020 they picked this one out for me and then I got this 2021 because it is a weird time of like just a whole weird year in general for Disney um, so those are the ones they picked me up from Walmart and then they picked me up these two from the Flower and Garden Festival they did pick me up a figment one but I already traded that whilst they were still in Florida because um, figment is not my number one collection um, so they got me this pass holder one and I don't know if the parks will be open in time for the Flower and Garden Festival to resume um, I'm sure it's supposed to have ended at least by now um, so there is this one so I imagine any leftover pins would go to the outlets the character warehouse um, but yeah this is the pass holder pin and this is a limited release pin and um, I've said it before, I really just like um, Mickey Mouse and um, it reminds me very much of um, like living with the land and growing the fruit and it's very like Florida Orange Grove-esque so very pleased with those two and um, yeah sorry I forgot to show you those in the main part of the video but I thought I'd jump in and show them now. So I hope you enjoyed this pin video, I know it was slightly different the way I filmed it. Uh, leave me a comment down below what you thought of it, if you prefer this sort of layout, um, if like the background able to see them is better. Um, but yeah, this feels like it's going to be a very long video for me to edit and upload for you. And my voice, I saw, I just need a drink and need to stop talking. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video, probably not going to be as big a pin hauls from now on now. Um, just because I'm doing less buying and trying to just trade what I have and just I'm quite content with what I've got at the moment so yes I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you for the next one bye guys